Okay everyone, so today I have a Amazon unboxing. I have technically already opened this because I wanted to check to see everything that I got in here to make sure there was nothing mixed in with what I got with Steven. Um, this I don't know if I've unboxed it before, but this I did get off of Amazon as well. This is the Diana Wayne Jones. This is the Howl's Moving Castle book. Um, I believe there was other ones in the series as well, but um, Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite Studio Ghibli movie, I'd have to say. I mean, I love them all, but out of all of them, I think this one is my favorite. But, like I said, I love them all, so I can't really say this is my favorite favorite, but, yeah. I do love this one, though. So, into the unboxing. Da, 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 da. So, first up here on the top, um, this is one of the Sailor Moon Gashapon things, I believe, that were Gashapons in Japan, but this is how they come here. I got um, the flower silver crystal one from Barnes & Noble. I did do a haul on that, so again, either I'll leave it up here in the little corner or I'll keep it in the description box below. So here is um, Chibi Moon's compact or brooch, however you want to call this, but this was significantly cheaper on um, Amazon but it was an add-on item so I had to make sure to get I think it's $25 or more so this will um, come with it but yeah that's the only reason why I got it online was because this was cheaper all the other ones are just the standard $10 so you can get that same price at Barnes & Noble and 10% off if you have a membership so it's actually cheaper at Barnes & Noble when you think about it so then I got this um, Powerpuff Girl Weekly Planner. This is the 2017 planner. Um, I think this came out because they did come out with the new Powerpuff Girls. I believe that this, I don't even know if this is the new style. Because um, Bubbles didn't have um, pigtails like that. And I don't think Buttercup had that in her hair. And I think that this is, I'm pretty sure this is the new Powerpuff Girl logo. Logo. Um, I have not watched any of the new one. The cartoon animation looks kind of like they ruined it, and I don't know about the humor, humor in the show, so I don't know if I'm ever going to watch it or if I'm just going to stick with my original Pop Girls that I grew up with and loved. But, yeah, I got this for my next year planner. I'm hoping to do, like, a planner decoration with this one because it does have, like, the space for it. Um, and then I'm just going to use this for some of my things because it's got a different material. So I don't know how well writing's going to go on this. So I might just do like a daily um, diary kind of decoration um, in here. So yeah, but this does start, what did it say? It starts September in 2016. So um, I can start doing a sticker diary decoration um things starting in September with this one. I did do, I did purchase a couple other planners, but um, I did a Totoro one, but I really like that one just for like the art of it, and it was already a 2016 planner, so it's already halfway through the year, so it's kind of pointless for me to use. But then I also got a different diary that can start pretty much any time, so I can always use that in the future. So yeah, again, wasn't planning on getting this, but I loved the art in this and I love the Powerpuff Girls so yeah I'm pretty sure this is based off the new series because I don't remember Bubbles having those but it's been a while since I've watched the Powerpuff Girls so yeah and Buttercup I'm pretty sure didn't have that so yeah that's this I got and then next up I did purchase a couple of these like sticker books um, because I did see a whole bunch of these. The other ones that I got were pre-orders, so those obviously did not come in yet because they're not available yet. But I saw this one, and this is Paint by Sticker, and this is a magical new art form. I did see this at Target in, like, the CD book section area at my Target. But it was significantly cheaper on Amazon, so obviously I'm going to order it on Amazon. But it's overall, like, a really cool... 
um, sticker book. I've never seen anything like this before. So yeah, you basically put them in images. So I'm excited to try this if you guys want to see any filming done with these. I don't normally film me putting things in sticker books, but like I said, I've got so many sticker books. Maybe I'll do it just like a sticker book collection or something to show you. But if you guys want to see any sticker pack inserting things like my Zootopia one I just filmed, my Target haul in, just let me know. And then for my last thing, I'll just get this box out of here. I got this huge dot to dots, the ultimate dot to dot extreme puzzle challenges to complete in color. This thing is huge, like, I don't know if I can, like, it's bigger than my two hands combined. So, um, what's really cool is that I've got a whole bunch of, like, different colored pens, but here, like, you do this for black, and then the yellow, obviously, you do with, like, a yellow, um, pen or marker, whatever it is that you're going to do, pull this in with, but there's a lot of numbers in these things, like it goes up to like, this one looks like it goes up to like 700, so just a really cool dot to dot book that I've never seen something this big and this cool, so yeah, I picked this up, so I hope you guys enjoyed this opening. Um, if you want, like I said, if you want to see anything up close or speed ups of, just let me know and I'll get that up for you guys. So I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye.